Hello everyone, it's Carrie, and in today's video I thought I would walk you through my setup for the Tampa Bay MegaCon I attended in September of 2018. So at my table I always have a little freebie, and this time I was giving away free mini beach balls. I also like to keep another item for sale at the table. This time I made some planner tassels, which also can be used as keychains, and I have some of my new prints, my art prints, and buttons. So it's good to have some additional items as many people don't come to these types of conventions looking to purchase a doll for $200. So here I keep a small photo album with the pictures of the dolls that I've made, a sort of a portfolio to share. And here are some of my older prints that I keep in the front so people can flip through them. They're just in some little wooden crates that I purchased at a craft store. The other prints behind those are my new prints and they were, uh, they're on a stand, it's actually a thread holder and I painted it black and removed every other pe row of pegs so they sit in there nicely. And I keep the dolls on these other wooden crates in like three different sizes. So I started doing these convention specials where I do a simple costume, simple wig and face up and I can sell the doll at a lower price. And I also sell my dolls at a lower price in general at conventions, partly because of the fact that I don't have to worry about shipping and handling. And also I like to give a discount to those who come out to visit me at the convention. So here's a look at some of the dolls that I'm selling here. And I keep my cards out front. For the tablecloth, I have a black tablecloth and then I do a triangle fold on a white tablecloth over top and then lay the crates on top of that. Definitely if you're going to be doing a convention and showing your dolls, make sure to use some little sign to that people can see to sh tell them not to touch the dolls. It never fails every convention I go to. If the signs aren't seen immediately, everybody wants to touch the hair and touch the face. And I definitely don't want that for my future buyers to have a doll that's been touched. <laughs> so I have my banner in the front and then I received a new banner or I ordered a new banner this year uh, with my Tattered Fairy Sally doll. And I just got that from Vista Print. So here's a look at the back. And this allows me to have different or more storage in the back the way that I have these crates set up. So here I can store my phone charger, extra prints, bags, uh, my, my phone, extra business cards, my travelers notebook where I jot down my sales, some of my art supplies so I can doodle during show per slow periods, and I also keep some of my business cards and freebies handy for those who make a purchase. I can drop them in quickly into the bag. I found it handy to keep a doll that's been prepped. So here I have one of the Ever After High dolls that I've prepped with no hair and, and taken off the factory paint. Because it never fails, I always get asked what kind of base doll I use. And this allows me to show them that easily. So we also keep some water and drinks and snacks and tuck some business cards of people that we've met behind there. Then stored underneath is my drawing board, storage boxes, and a case where I store emergency items such as extra eyelashes or eyelash glue, safety pins, mini rubber bands, and so forth, just in case any dolls are damaged. So I'm just going to walk you through a little bit of the convention itself so you can see some of the costumes and what the overall con looked like. But that's my setup I wanted to show everyone because I know that many of you may be doll customizers who are thinking of doing a convention. And when I did my first convention, I couldn't find anything on the internet to set up to help me with setup ideas. So I thought I would share mine. So let me know in the comment section below if you have any questions and I'll be happy if you're going to be doing one, I'll be happy to get your, help you get yours started. Um, I also thought that I would share um, a little bit more about this convention in my Instagram and uh, my Facebook. So if you're not following me on there, you can see some of that information or some more uh, on the convention itself and costumes there. So as always, if you like this video, I'd love it if you gave it a thumbs up and subscribed if you hadn't already. Thank you so much for watching. I hope everybody has a wonderful day. Bye.